Hey guys, GhostStory38 here. Today I wanted to bring you a another book review. Uh, comic fans and Phantom fans. Today I'll be showing you and discussing with you the issue one of a 12-issue maxi-series, The Phantom Generations. In that other way. This is basically an anthology series that tells the stories of various different phantoms throughout the years. This one sets play. This is the very first phantom, Christopher Standish, the son of the man who was slain by the pirates of the Sang Brotherhood. For those that saw the Billy Zane movie, that little introductory sequence, that's this boy. Unlike most traditional comics, this is actually written as a prose story, uh, or a I like to think of it as like a, a short novel. So if anyone's ever read the um, Shadow pulp reprints, you'll probably know what I'm talking about. Example. Um, a lot of words, an occasional illustration on the other side for a plot detail. But uh, yeah. Got some really nice artwork. Um, there's a different writer and different artist on each book. This one is done by Ben Robb and Pat Quinn. This story set takes place in 1556. And Christopher Standish is recounting the birth of his son, Kit Walker. With his wife, Christina. How happy they are. And what life will be like. And then um, Christina misses her kinsmen. So she wants them to come and see her son. Her cousin, uh, Niles Gildenhar. I probably butchered that pronunciation. And this is his um, bodyguard. Aldoon. He brings news with them that their family is has um, passed away, that their family fortune has been plundered by bandits, and her grief, and she's completely grief-stricken with the loss of her family and part of their fortune, and all Chris can do is comfort and console his wife. She wants to go and help settle her family affairs, and he is, I'm like, he's okay with that. Um, so, during this time frame, this is September 1st by this entry, um, Niles, Nils, and Christina went back to their country to help settle their family's affairs, and her bodyguards still very much being around while he's off. Chris is off doing his phantom duties. He gets into um, a skirmish between two tribes. They're fighting over uh, access to water and river. So he sets up a treaty with them. He ends up hearing about his son being kidnapped. So he races home. Oh yeah, and by this point, this is September 14th. So a couple days have passed since um, Nils and Christina left but they're back now and she has her son back with them as well you find out their son's taken his wife's grief stricken they're both angry and upset she wants to help him find their son he's like no it's not a good idea we're still things that we don't know about and we don't need to make our son an orphan and i don't want to lose you christine is like okay you have a fair point i'll stay put he sends out the uh, tribesmen to help him find his son he finds out they're slaughtered. Um, their bodyguard, um, her cousin's bodyguard is the one that killed them. They get into a scuffle. He ends up dying. And one of their jungle sayings is born. He who sees the phantom's face dies a horrific death. And after finding out it was her cousin that kidnapped their son, um, he goes to confront him. And he finds his son. Uh, Niles threatens to sh kill his wife. 
and he wants to take his son and go home, um, he would have gotten away with that had Christina not basically punched him in the face. Uh, he says, or he, or he would have done had a blow to the snout from Christina's good right arm not undone his scheme ere he could unleash the fatal shot. They get into a sword fight. Um, he tries to shoot Christopher. That doesn't pan out. He does wound him in the stomach, though. He cuts him across the stomach region. The Chris deflects a bullet that was meant for him off his blade and ricochets it back and it hits hit her cousin in the heart. Um, previous point, um, there was a bunch of letters that she sent to her kinsman about her about her being about her having the baby and living in um, Bengala. They find the letters on his body, so he stole them. And of course, on their tattoo, they find the tattoo. Uh, he finds a tattoo of the Singh Brotherhood on his arm. As if no revelation could be any more harrowing than this, my eyes did suddenly espy an image that chills me to the marrow to this very day. There, emblazoned upon the flesh of his inner arm, the work, the mark of seven circles, the insignia of the Singh Brotherhood. A plot to commit murder and usurp my wife's family fortune, a bid to abduct my son, all perpetrated by a man to whom I was kin by marriage, a scoundrel in league with the dread Singh pirates, coincidence or conspiracy, would that I had the sight of a shaman, such a riddle I might possess the power to unravel, alas, such skills are beyond the likes of me. That Niles Gildenhar came to these shores, ignorant of my dual identity, I am confident, though known by many throughout the deep woods as the fan... The phantom may be that he and Christopher Standish are one and the same, be a secret guarded by a select trustworthy few. So how then was it that my wife's cousin came to be an agent of my most hated enemies? If betwixt man and the man and myth, the living and the legendary, a connection the Singh have begun to draw, I, re I must remain heir, vigilant, and gird myself and those I treasure above all else against future conflict. For like he who slithered in Eden's verdant shores, groves, Eden's verdant groves, whose slimy serpents are air-coiled and ready to strike. Someday, like all men, I will die, by whose hand only the God, only the good Lord himself can say. But with my death, an end shall give rise to a new beginning, and unto you, my son, shall this mantle pass, for that is my most sacred oath and your destiny. Guard it well, with pride everlasting your father, C.S. Christopher Standish. And that's basically the story in a in a nutshell of Black Garden, issue one. Um, I have the next. I have issue. I have the first four issues. So issues two, three, and four. I'll plan on doing an, a video on each subsequent issue and giving my thoughts on that. Overall, I really enjoyed this book. The artwork is really nice, and I like the story told. Um, to me, what appeals about the history is the history of all the previous phantoms and not just finding out about the 21st phantom, but seeing what their lives were like as well. Um, anyway, I hope you guys like this video. Click that like, show your support for the phantom and comment below, which one was your favorite and also comment below. How did you get involved in the phantom? For me, it was the Billy Zane phantom movie. I enjoy, I saw that. I saw the movie at least three times as a kid. I still have the original VHS tape. And more recently, a couple years ago, I picked up the DVD. But uh, I saw the sci-fi miniseries and uh, the, a VHS tape of the Phantom 2040 cartoon. But other than that, that's really about it. Um, until then, take care. I'll see you guys next time. And peace.